Hi, I'm Tom Barton of the University of Chicago and Internet2, and I'm the manager of the Gripper Project. This is the third of three introductory videos uh, uh, introducing you to Gripper. This one's focused on Gripper's toolkit components. I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, taking you through this rather complicated uh, architectural graphic. Let me orient you to it first, and then I'll kind of give you a big picture, and then we'll sort of zoom into bits of it, as it were. Uh, first of all, you notice that there's some blue things around the outside. Uh, identity management, it says, up there in the left, top left corner. and the upper right, uh, there's an application, some other kinds of applications. On the bottom left, we see systems of record and maybe even an enterprise service bus. These are the technologies and systems and applications that an organization is already running um, uh, that they might wish to integrate with Grouper. And then in the middle, there's sort of a green egg-shaped thing uh, that represents Grouper and the capabilities that it brings into the picture. Uh, delivered through its Java API, through rules, through its audit capabilities, uh, through the change log, and through uh, support for external users, which I'll describe in just a moment. And then there's a bunch of silver things kind of connecting the green grouper goodness to the blue stuff that you're already doing, which are the integration components in the, in the uh, grouper toolkit. And the high-level picture, the main point, really the high-level point I'd like to make in this third video is that the strategy of having a toolkit, a collection of integration technologies, only some of which a given organization may need to use at a given point in time, has been a very successful strategy for a grouper. It's been allowed uh, adopters to deploy what they need, to integrate with what they have, and not have to have a huge monolithic install that requires them to make dramatic changes to their uh, existing operating practices. They can instead incrementally build on and ex enhance the capabilities that they're already using. So that's, that's the idea we've been sh uh, aiming at, and I think it's been working out pretty well. So let's go into this in a little more detail. Uh, first of all, I want to start out with, uh, well, Grouper manages access of who? Well, the people or the things, the subjects, as we say in Grouper speak, uh, uh, that your identity management system uh, manages, usually people, maybe other kinds of things too. We do not require you to replicate all of those subjects into Grouper as sort of the initial step. Instead, Grouper's integration approach there uh, uses a subject API to abstract them to Grouper and has some subject source adapters to hook up with your identity management systems. There's a JDBC source adapter in case you keep them in a relational database system, and there's a JNDA source adapter in case it's most convenient to expose subjects to Grouper by means of LDAP or Active Directory. Basically, whenever Grouper needs to refer to a subject, it consults, it, 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 it references it in one of those repositories by means of the corresponding uh, subject source adapter. Uh, there's a Grouper loader, looking down at the lower left-hand corner here, uh, whose original purpose is to reflect a group's memberships uh, based upon, to manage a group's memberships, to keep it in synchrony with data in an external system of record, like a HR information uh, uh, system or a student information system, for example. It can also maintain entire systems of groups, like departmental org hierarchies in Grouper. Um, one of the main things you want to do once you've cooked up lots of groups and other things in Grouper is provision some of that, uh, uh, some of that, uh, some of those artifacts back out to your LDAP or Active Directory, and for that, Grouper provides the LDAP provisioning connector. Um, you can have multiples of those, each with different characteristics for different kinds of provisioning tasks, all running in parallel. That's perfectly fine. Uh, there is also real-time uh, provisioning capabilities uh, and integration capabilities with Grouper that depends on Grouper's change log. Um, uh, real-time notifications of uh, changed events can be transmitted over XMPP over or over HTTPS, so that's great for integrating with enterprise service buses. It's also, uh, uh, that's also the basis for being able to integrate two or more different Grouper instances together uh, for some unusual use cases that we do support. Uh, the idea is that you may, there may be several different organizations, each running their own grouper instance, that need to collaborate on a large-scale project, for example, like a, like a large science uh, project, a virtual organization kind of a use case. And they may need to have some of the groups that uh, be project-wide and have their various groupers manage the same group between them. That's supported through the real-time uh, 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 capabilities in grouper. Uh, Grouper also uh, supports integration by means of SOAP and RESTful style of web services. The web services uh, provide access to uh, many of Grouper's capabilities, not all, but the most, in, most, impact, most important and useful ones. 
so that an application can take direct advantage of that and hence outsource its uh, group, whatever group or access management capabilities it might want to express in itself to the group or back end so that a developer doesn't have to redevelop and duplicate all of that effort that we've been spending putting in grouper for years and years. Um, so you can just take advantage of that uh, as a developer. Uh, those, uh, the, those web services are also wrapped in something called the grouper client, which is a single Java jar to make it really easy to extend a Java application with uh, uh, the uh, uh, grouper uh, capabilities and, and general access management capabilities. Uh, the grouper client has been uh, extended in special ways to support Atlassian applications like Jira and Confluence, and also Kuali applications like the uh, Kuali Financials, for example, and Kuali Rice. Looking down at the bottom, there's the grouper database, and uh, the main point here is that most any kind of popular uh, relational database management system is supported by grouper. We rely on Hibernate to abstract uh, us away from the details of how your particular uh, uh, database uh, works. We also have a, a complete shell environment. You can have 100% access to all of the Java API and other capabilities uh, that Grouper offers through the shell for sites that wish to administer things in that fashion. There's also XML import and export capabilities offered through the Grouper shell. And then finally, there's a, a number of user interfaces as part of the toolkit. There's one whose uh, purpose is to manage the membership of a single group. And at UChicago in particular, we use that widely to, for delegated administration. Uh, uh, so where a person, who, be they technical or not, can uh, manage access of a particular group which has a particular meaning in their context. There's also a user interface for managing uh, definition and assignment of attributes, definition and assignments of roles and permissions, uh, also invitation, and this goes back to external users. And here the story is that uh, you often want to manage people's access to some of your services even though they aren't people in your organization. They're from outside of your organization and so not in your identity management system or might not be there. You can invite them into Grouper using the invitation user interface and then they can be placed into groups and roles and given permissions and such and have their access managed uh, by means of federated identity, and federated authentication in the allied uh, uh, services that Grouper is managing the access to. And Grouper itself has, supports federated authentication. Uh, finally, there's the administrative UI for a grouper, which really is it, it exposes a great deal of things that uh, a grouper administrates, a grouper system administrator needs access to, and that really only a person like that could really love. Well, that pretty much finishes up the quick tour of of the integration uh, components in the grouper toolkit, and I hope you'll uh, agree with me that that it supplies. Uh, the ability to integrate with a pretty wide range of existing uh, systems and services that a site may have. Uh, if you want more information on Grouper, there are these URLs for wikis and downloads and for sheets and a, a demo instance to play around with. Thank you very much.